In Book 1, Chapter 1, entitled The Constitution of the World and the Disposition of the Elements Josephus wrote, After this, on the second day, he, God, placed the heaven over the whole world, and separated it from the other parts, and he determined it should stand by itself. He also placed a crystalline firmament round it, and put together in a manner agreeable to the earth, and fitted it for giving moisture and rain, and for affording the advantage of dews. On the fourth day, he, God, adorned the heaven with the sun, the moon, and the other stars, and appointed them their courses, that the vicissitudes of the seasons might be clearly signified. Genesis 1 verses 6 to 8, And God said, Let there be a solid arch stretching over the waters, parting the waters from the waters. And God made the arch for a division between the waters which were under the arch and those which were over it, and it was so. And God gave the arch the name of heaven. And there was evening and there was morning, the second day. Genesis 1 verses 6 to 8, And God said, Let there be a vaulted dome in the midst of the waters, and let it cause a separation between the waters. So God made the vaulted dome, and he caused a separation between the waters which were under the vaulted dome and between the waters which were over the vaulted dome. And it was so. And God called the vaulted dome heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning, a second day. Genesis 1 verses 6 to 8, Let there be a dome in the middle of the water, let it divide the water from the water. God made the dome and divided the water under the dome from the water above the dome, that is how it was, and God called the dome sky. So there was evening, and there was morning, a second day. The scriptures tell us that the firmament is like molten, transparent glass and that it supports waters above it, Genesis 1 verses 6 to 8. So, when we look up and see the beautiful blue color of the sky through the glass ceiling of God, that ought to be enough visual evidence for us to believe God's word is true. Unfortunately, most human beings have chosen to believe the fairy tales of men that claims everything came from a big explosion and we evolved from monkeys. These same men tell us fanciful stories about distant Earth-like planets where there could be alien life just because they saw a star twinkle at regular intervals. They weave into their stories many mysterious forces like gravity, dark matter, and dark energy to fill in the gaps of nonsensical theories. And like children at a Disney movie, we get carried away into their world of pure imagination because they call it science. We trust these people like little children believe adults about Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. Just the way the Christmas presents or Easter baskets left while we were asleep were enough to convince us as children that Santa and the Bunny are real, these big-time deceivers use rockets, airplanes, white lab coats, spacesuits, and Hollywood CGI pictures slash videos and the idea of exploring the unknown universe to fool the masses. Sadly, most people, and even most Christians, have chosen to believe known liars, governments, who want to control us and take our wealth by getting us to believe the lie that they are exploring something, outer space, that doesn't exist. They have used the best propaganda tools and technology to turn us away from our Creator God and His truth. And that's why those of us who have seen behind the curtain, must expose this Wizard of Oz called Science and his primary tool called NASA. Concerning the waters above the firmament, I always heard it taught by creation scientists that those waters all came down during the flood of Noah. They taught that the firmament was some kind of water-slash-vapor canopy and God condensed it and it fell to earth, ceasing to exist. However, the Bible does not teach that. The scriptures teach that the waters are still above the firmament. In Psalm 148 verses 4 to 6, 1,500 years after the flood, the Holy Spirit said, 
praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established them for ever and ever, he hath made a decree which shall not pass. Additionally, Psalm 18 verse 11 also confirms Psalm 148 verses 4 to 6. Speaking of God's surroundings, he, God, made darkness his secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. So the Bible is clear about the waters above the firmament. And before anyone tries to jump on the word we're in Psalm 18 BRSE 11, we must remember that it is in italics in the KJV meaning it was not in the original Hebrew text but was added by the translators in an attempt to make it work in English. But this is a good example of why we must look at the original languages when studying the Bible and we must look at all the passages concerning a particular subject to rightly divide the word of truth. The very Hebrew word used for heaven slash sky is shamayim. It contains the Hebrew word mayim which is the Hebrew word for waters and more specifically the dual or divided waters of Genesis 1 and the solid firmament is what divides them. Concerning outer space, God never mentions in the scriptures that he made other terrestrial planets like Earth. In fact, the Bible and the Book of Enoch calls the planets the wandering stars that did not keep their rightful place and course in the firmament. For that reason, God banished them to the dark waters. Ancient astronomers called the seven visible planets the wandering stars as well. So what we call planets are just stars or lights we are seeing through the glass dome and a lot of water which would affect so-called redshift and blue shift because light reacts much differently when shining through glass and water. For example, when light travels from air into water, it slows down, causing it to continue to travel at a different angle or direction. That slowdown of the light waves through the dark waters and the glass firmament would make people think that the light source being viewed is much farther away than it really is. Many people, including us, have tested this with the high zoom cameras pointed at Mars, Venus, and stars. They are not what we have been told. They are all just lights in the sky and they are not millions of miles away from us. NASA's pictures are composites and artist renditions according to their own websites. And the ones they claim are real pictures are easily proven fakes under closer examination. But let's get back to the Bible about the glass dome firmament over our heads. As we saw in Genesis 1 verses 6 to 8, God called the firmament heaven. In Hebrew, Elohim called the Reiki Yashemayan. The Lord also said, Heaven is my throne and earth is footstool. Isaiah revealed that God seated upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, as viewed from that top of the glass dome, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, Isaiah 40 verse 22. When Ezekiel saw the firmament that he called the terrible crystal stretched out over their heads, he went on to say, and there was a voice from the firmament over their heads, and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone, and he saw the Lord and the glory of the Lord upon that throne, Ezekiel 1 verses 22-28. Thus, God's voice came from the firmament and Ezekiel saw his throne and the same glory and rainbow and fire that John saw in the book of Revelation. All of this reveals that God actually sits on this glass firmament and he views the earth and its inhabitants from there. In other words, just above our heads, above the clouds and our sky, where the Freemason astronauts and scientists have told us is the empty vacuum of space, is the sea of glass called heaven and the very real throne of God Almighty the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The book of Revelation confirms all of this about the glass before the throne of God. You may contribute to this discussion by dropping a comment in the comments section. Please like and share this video with your friends on social media. See you in the next video. And remember to subscribe. And enable notifications so that you will not miss any updates. Thank you for watching. Let's go.